Hello, my name is Michael Dell Brown. Today I'm going to give you a brief introduction to my new book, The Little Flock. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The phrase little flock, found in Luke chapter 12, verse 32, identifies those believers who belong to the nation of Israel. This group believed that Jesus Christ was in fact the promised Messiah, and they were baptized, many by John, as part of their earthly program in preparation to become a nation of priests. Note Exodus chapter 19, verse 6, quote, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Unquote. All of this is very much in keeping with the confirmation the Lord Jesus made concerning his earthly ministry to Israel and the promises that God made to this exclusive people, the people of the old covenant and yet future new covenant. This work will address the fact that there are two companies, namely the little flock of Israel and the body of Christ, which began with the salvation of Saul in Acts chapter 9. Further, this work will identify passages that pertain to the little flock exclusively, including, for example, the Lord's Supper, the judgment seat of Christ, the Lamb's Book of Life, and many others. This work will examine the language used by God in addressing the little flock versus the language used when addressing members of the body of Christ. And this we will support with scripture. Further distinctions between these two groups will be drawn so that what God has separated will not be artificially commingled in error. It will be necessary to examine key individuals like Timothy, Silas, and Barnabas to demonstrate that these members of the little flock were not, nor did they become, members of the body of Christ. Naturally, some will object to the conclusions drawn in this work, and those common objections will be addressed so that believers may stand together in agreement concerning the Word of God, rightly divided, in accordance with 2 Timothy 2.15. The proposition format employed will allow us to address many concerns concisely. May God receive the honor and the glory and the praise from this work.